Hey, welcome back to another 350 Legend Ballistics Gel Test. Today we're gonna to be shooting Winchester Super X 180 grain PowerPoint out of the 350 Legend. And here's the box for your Winchester PowerPoint 350 Legend load. Flip it around. Here is all of your factory promo information. And here is your velocity and energy info. It says data generated from the 20 inch barrel. So we will take that into consideration. We'll be shooting this out of a 16 inch barrel Ruger American Ranch. So we probably won't see velocities um, approaching what it says on the box. That's okay. Let's take a look at the ammo. Yank one out. There it is, just a big old classic soft point. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 350 Legend, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20 round magazine cuffs. You pop that open, you got a 20 round magazine close at hand right there. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch into the perfect truck gun, camp gun, anything you could need it for. Coming around to the other side, I've got my white tail deer design on this one. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester Super X 180 grain PowerPoint out of the 350 Legend. And this is the first ballistics gel test where I have four bullets to look at, not just three, but four. And that's because I had to fire so many rounds just to catch one that I went ahead and kept firing and I wound up catching four. For whatever reason, these bullets would just go in to the you know center of the first block and zip out the sides. So I wound up finding quite a few shots, but hey, it worked out. We got four bullets to actually look at. And here they are, one, two, three, and then there's one a little bit further back right there. And we got some astounding penetration out of these things. Let's take a look. So it's hard to see, it's like right there. 29 and a half inches coming over here. We've got one at 33 inches. There's another one right above it will give 33 inches. And then there's the fourth one down there at about 35 and a half inches. Absolutely ridiculous penetration with these 180 grain PowerPoint bullets. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocity. Our high was 2054, our low was 2005, and our average was 2031. And here we are looking at the Winchester Super X 180 grain PowerPoint bullets from the 350 Legend pulled out of the gel. And we had a little bit of fun with this one. We actually captured four bullets instead of my standard three. So let's go ahead and look at all four. First, we'll talk about weight retention. We saw very consistent weight retention, 169, 169, 171, and 172 grains, respectively, for an average of 170 grains. And these, at least supposedly, are not a bonded bullet, but that works out to 95% weight retention. Really, really good weight retention. I'm extremely happy with that. And now on to expansion. Just like weight retention, we had pretty darn consistent expansion. We saw 0 0.54, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, and 0.63 inches for an average of 0.57 inches expanded diameter. And that works out to 1.6x expansion. And something I've come to notice with 350 Legend, you're not gonna be seeing that massive 2x plus expansion that you will with higher velocity, more classic deer cartridges. You're just not gonna see that. We don't have the velocity, the bullet's bigger. It just doesn't expand past that 2x mark much. And 1.6x is actually right in line with a lot of the loads that I tested. And being that the bullet is starting out pretty big, I mean, it's 35 caliber, it doesn't have to expand a whole ton to be even bigger at the end of the day. And now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2054, our low 
was 2805 for an average of 2031 versus the factory build velocity of 2100 feet per second. And that works out to being 69 feet per second slow on average. I have seen a whole lot worse than that. But interestingly enough, I had quite a few 350 legend loads come in faster than factory spec. This one didn't. This is not a deal breaker by any means. It's still pretty darn close. And velocity is the last thing I'm worried about. And now on to penetration, and this is really where this particular load shined. We had 29 and a half, 33 and 35 and a half inches respectively, and I didn't annotate what the fourth bullet was, so we're going to have to skip that one. For an average of 33 inches of penetration, and all three of the bullets penetrated right up close to 30 or past 30 inches, so that is beyond a lot of classic deer loads, that is really deep penetration great performance from this particular bullet for what it is supposed to do, I think. I'm really happy with it. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Winchester Super X 180 grain PowerPoint load out of the 350 Legend. I've got my cheat sheet here. Let's go over everything. Weight retention was really, really good. We wound up with a 170 grain average out of a 180 grain bullet. That's 95% weight retention. This isn't a bonded bullet, but it is a little bit heavy for caliber in the sense that most of your 350 Legend loads are in the 150 to 180 grain range, and this is at that top end. This is a 180 grain bullet, and it retained almost all of its weight across every bullet. It was very consistent. Expansion-wise, this didn't expand as much as some other 350 Legend loads that I have tested, but it did expand okay, and it was very consistent across the board. The average was 0.57 inches, 1.6x expansion. It's already 35 caliber from the start. We're not talking about a 243 here. It's already pretty big from the beginning. 1.5x, it's even bigger. I'm pretty happy with it. And then velocity wise, this came pretty close to the factory stated velocity. We were only 69 feet per second slow on average. I've seen a lot worse than that, so I'm kind of happy with it. Now, there's a lot of 350 Legend loads that I wind up testing. I've done them already. The videos might not be out yet that actually exceed the factory stated velocity. So this one didn't do that, but it's still pretty close. Not bad. And then on to where this particular load absolutely shines, at least in my book. Penetration. This thing penetrated deep. It's a big old soft point bullet that held its weight and punched through with a lot of momentum. We averaged 33 inches of penetration. That's a lot more than a lot of other 350 Legend loads. That's more than a lot of other classic calibers across the board. So what would I use this particular load for? Well, I mean, it penetrates deep. It expands enough. It hits pretty hard. That's something I want to hit on real quick before I get to what I would use this for. Kinetic energy. So with a 180 grain bullet going 2,031 feet per second at the muzzle, that's what we measured it at. We're looking at 1,649 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. That is right there in the range of most 350 Legend loads I've tested. They tend to fall in the 1,500 to 1,700 foot-pound range, and this is right there at 1,649, so that's pretty good. And so backing up, sorry, I'm a little excited. I really enjoy these 350 Legend loads. I've been looking forward so much to doing these videos. So if I'm mumbling over myself and going all over the place, that's why I'm just excited about it. So back again, what would I use this particular load for? Well, it expands enough, it's got enough energy, and it penetrates really, really deep. If I'm hunting some real big bodied bucks or if I'm black bear hunting with a 350 Legend, maybe hunting some big wild hogs, but especially if I'm going after deer and black bear, sort of a combo type deal, that's what I would use this particular load for. It's a nice heavy bullet for the 350 Legend and it does tick all the other boxes. If you've used this particular load on game in the field, let us know how it did. Let me and everybody else know in the comments how you liked it. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work, and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.